the day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Thursday, September 8, 2022. And giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Minnesota Twins vs New York Yankees. Several key things should determine the outcome of this game. Gray is a seasoned proven pitcher that the Twins will rely on on the stretch. He's comfortable on the Yankee Stadium mound and pitching in front of the Bronx crowd from his time with the Yankees. Gray will be fresh after his brief stint on the Illinois with a hamstring issue. The Yankees, for their part, could be excused for looking ahead to this weekend's showdown with the Rays that could greatly impact the team's positioning in the AL East. Cortez will be making his return to the hill for the first time in nearly 20 days, so he is bound to be a bit rusty and may be on a pitch count as well. The doubleheader certainly took its toll on the Yankees' pen, so they will likely have Clark Schmidt at the ready to give them much-needed middle innings in this one. After yesterday's sweep, this game takes on must-win status for the Twins, so I expect them to pull out all the stops to steal a win in this series. Our team pick is. Twins for the win. The total has finished over in 35 of the last 52 played between Minnesota and New York, and in 12 of the last 16 played by Minnesota and New York. The total has finished over in 6, 6-2-2 of the last 10 that Minnesota has played on the road. The Twins have a team ERA of 3.99, which is 19th in baseball. New York is 4th in baseball in runs scored with 660, which is an average of 4.89 runs per game. Our total pick is over. San Francisco Giants vs Milwaukee Brewers, Game 2. San Francisco is in a tough spot pitching-wise with their compressed schedule coupled with injury issues. Alex Wood is on the shelf and could miss the rest of the year. That pressed the bullpen into a long evening Tuesday night in place of him. That, coupled with a doubleheader here, followed immediately by a three-game set in Chicago, is really going to tax the Giants' bullpen. Milwaukee knows they need wins in order to improve their spot in the playoff chase, and that means taking advantage of favorable situations. The Brewers have gotten quality work from Peralta of late and that, plus being at home, gives them the advantage in this contest. Our team pick is. Milwaukee Brewers for the win. San Francisco saw their four-game win streak snapped as they were dropped in the middle game of their three-game set with the Dodgers Tuesday night. The Giants entered Wednesday third in the NL West, 27.5 games behind the Dodgers for the top spot. In the NL wild card picture, the team was 8.5 games behind the Padres for the final wild card spot with less than a month to go in the regular season. On Tuesday night, San Francisco finished with eight hits as David Villar was the lone player to record two in the contest. Brandon Crawford, his eight, and Lewis Brinson, his third, each homered in the loss. John Brebbia got the start as the opener and didn't factor in the decision as he threw a scoreless inning, allowing one hit with no walks or strikeouts. Jarlin Garcia, 1-4, took the loss as he allowed five runs on four hits with one walk and three strikeouts in 1.2 innings of work. Milwaukee built a big lead early but ended up falling in extra innings to the Rockies for their fourth loss in the last six games. The Brewers entered Wednesday second in the NL Central, 8.5 games behind the Cardinals for the division lead. They were three games behind the Phillies and Padres, who were tied for the final two wild card spots in the National League. On Tuesday night, Milwaukee got three hits from Willie Adames, run, two RBI, and two from Christian Yelich, two runs, RBI, and the loss. Yelich, his 12th, a 499-foot shot, and Hunter Renfro, his 25th, each went deep in the contest. Brandon Woodruff was sharp but ended up with a no decision as he threw seven innings, allowing one run on two hits with two walks and five strikeouts. Taylor Rogers, 3-7, took the loss as he allowed four runs, three earned, on two hits with one walk and no strikeouts in one-third of an inning. With this being the second game of a doubleheader, this could mean the lineups are not going to be as deep as a typical game would be. Making contact will help move runners over and put your team in better positions to score runs. However, in the previous 15 days the Giants are fifth with 132 team strikeouts offensively, while the Brewers are right ahead of them with 133. Go with the under to hit as these teams are going to struggle to put up runs. Our total pick is. Under the total. 
Chicago White Sox vs. Oakland Athletics The Chicago White Sox are currently 7.5 games back from the Toronto Blue Jays for the third and final AL wild card spot. They are also 5-5 in their last 10, as they will need to heat up at the plate if they want to make a push towards the postseason. The White Sox still have a chance to win their division, though. They are only 3.0 games back from the Cleveland Guardians. At the plate, the White Sox are scoring 4.24 runs per game, and they are hitting .260 as a team. This is the third highest overall team batting average, but only the 20th most runs scored per game. Chicago has shown that they can consistently reach base, but they have stranded a ton of base runners when they are in scoring position this season. The White Sox have been forced to string together multiple base hits to create a big inning, as they don't have much power littered throughout their lineup. They are only hitting .88 home runs per game, which is the fourth lowest average in the MLB. I also expect the White Sox to stay conservative once they have reached base safely. They have only stolen 42 bases, which is the 26th least in the league. They have allowed their bats to move their base runners into scoring position. The Oakland Athletics are currently 4-6 in their last 10 games played, as their poor play has taken them out of the playoff race in 2022. Oakland is currently 25.5 games back from the Toronto Blue Jays, as they have a long way to go to sneak into the wild card. The A's are also 37.0 games back from the Houston Astros in the AL West. At the plate, the A's are scoring 3.50 runs per game, and they are hitting .217 as a team. This is the lowest overall team batting average this season, and the second least amount of runs scored per game. The Athletics have struggled to consistently reach base this season, which has made it much more difficult to score. Oakland has also realized that they don't have a ton of power littered throughout their batting lineup. They are only hitting .86 home runs per game, which is also the fourth lowest average in the MLB. They have been forced to string together hits, as they don't have many guys that can change this game with one swing of the bat. I also expect the A's to stay semi-aggressive once they have reached base safely. They have already stolen 67 bases this season, which is the 18th most in the league. I will be hammering the White Sox run line in this matchup with the A's. Chicago has one of their best pitchers on the mound, and I see him pitching very deep into this game. The A's aren't going to be able to hit him, and he will continue to dominate his opponents when he is on the road. Dylan Cease is 7-3 with a 1.78 ERA on the road this season, as he has continued to keep patrolling. The A's also really struggle at the plate, as this is a great matchup for him. The A's are scoring the second least amount of runs per game, and they have the lowest overall team batting average. They will struggle to consistently reach base, and they won't give themselves enough opportunities to score. Cease has been a beast this season, and I love backing him against weaker teams. Now, the White Sox will also explode at the plate, as I see them consistently reaching base throughout this game. They have the third highest overall team batting average, and Sears struggled at times against the Orioles in his last start. The White Sox are scoring 5.29 runs per game against LHP in their last 10, as they will keep a drawing in this one. The White Sox are the better team and they have the pitching advantage. Our team pick is. Chicago White Sox minus 1.5 runs. Our total pick is under 7 runs.